We are going to continue to write some script. In this video, we're going to write script for the Pythagorean Theorem. And a program that I've written here. So we click on this button right here. That's going to allow us to write new script. And first we do our percent to tell it what's going on. And this is going to be solving for leg, well let's just say the Pythagorean Theorem. And now we were, when I, I like when I run this code, I want it to display what's actually about to happen. So the first thing, and you don't have to put a display in here, but I like to, and we're going to display the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and so we're doing the Pythagorean theorem. There's this one's a little little trickier. We need to know if the user wants to solve for a leg or solve for the hypotenuse. So first of all, I'm going to call this variable. I'm going to name a variable side. Say side equals, and then the user is going to input, and we're going to say enter one to solve for a leg. Enter two to solve for the hypotenuse. Okay, that's what I want to do. And so now we have to say we have to do an if statement. So the, depending on what that what the user puts for that variable side there. Okay. And we want to put a semicolon there because we want to suppress that variable side and just have the MATLAB stored in its memory and not display it. So now we want to do an if statement. If side is less or equals one, if side equals one, okay, then that means if side equals one, we want to solve for a leg. So we'd want to solve for A. So we need B. We'd say B equals input B equals press that C equals input C equals semicolon to suppress that and then we'd say display the leg is and then to get well, if we know B and C we know that our leg equals the square root SQRT of c squared minus minus oops minus b squared okay and so that would that would tell me if the user enters one and wants to solve for a leg so now we'd say so we have the if statement so if side equals one and now you'd say else oops so else then so if they don't enter one they're going to enter a two and that's when we're going to be solving for the hypotenuse so we need to know what a and b is else a equals input a equals b equals input b equals and then we display again this is optional display the hypotenuse is and it is c equals square root of a squared plus b squared okay and then when you have an if statement you got to end it and hit end and I think that's the it highlighted the if so we just ended this if loop so let's save this thing file save and let's call it Pythag okay you see our Pythag.m opened up over here in our current folder and let's run it and see what happens oh. 
valid target. The expression to the left of the equal sign is not a valid target. Line 4, column 8. If side equals 1. Maybe it should be less than, or let's try less than. Less than or equal to 1. Okay, cool. It locks that now. Enter 1 to solve for a leg. Enter 2 to solve for a hypotenuse. Let's solve for our hypotenuse. Let's do one we know. Let's do a 3, 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. Now, I don't like that once I hit A equals 3 that it sent A equals 3 down there. So let's go back into it. And yeah, so here we did not suppress those outputs. And so let's leave the difference now. Okay, enter one to solve for a leg, two to solve for a hypotenuse. Let's say two. So A equals three, B equals four, and the hypotenuse is five. So let's do it again, and now let's just run it from here. And let's do Pythag. Just type it in there. And as long as you have the <coughs> program, the script file over here in your current folder, it will run it. And so let's we'll do one to solve for a leg. So let's say B equals four, C equals five. We're going to be A equals three. Okay, we have the script for the Pythagorean theorem.